data entry for statistical spreadsheets such as SPSS and Excel. Perhaps the easiest kind of data to enter would be the data which uses numbers. In other words, in your statistics class, you have learned about ratio and interval scales. And maybe you have a little bit of difficulty figuring out whether a scale is ratio or interval. Well, don't worry about it because whether it's ratio or interval, as long as it's numbers, you can enter it without a problem. You've also learned about the difference between discrete scaling and continuous scaling. Once again, don't worry about it because you can enter both of these kinds of scales with just numbers. So whether we are talking about numerical scores, the number of events or occurrences, the number of uh, units sold, any of those kinds of variables can be easily entered on your statistical spreadsheets. The important thing to remember is that each row represents a different case and each column is going to represent a different variable. Therefore, in the cell that would be at the upper left, you are going to enter the score or number that represents what our first case scored on the first variable. Let's suppose that our first variable is temperature measured in degrees centigrade. And so we can enter a specific number even including a decimal point. Just type in the 35.2 and then enter that by either hitting the enter button or by using one of the arrow keys. If you're going to then enter the score for our second subject, case two, you could just use the downward arrow key, get into that particular cell and then enter the temperature of this person, 37.1. You could even enter negative numbers and it'll work fine. Let's suppose that our next column deals with score. For example, a score on a depression scale. Doesn't matter whether the score is negative or positive or uses decimal numbers, just enter the number. Say it was 22 for our first case, then you could use the downward arrow key to enter a 7 for case 2. Usually you'll be entering your data for one case, variable by variable. In other words, you'd be entering the temperature for our first subject and then entering the score that our subject had. In this situation, you could just use the right arrow key to enter your data and to move on to the next cell. So that's the way that data entry works with ratio interval scales, whether discrete or continuous. If you have any comments about these training videos, contact me at my email address, brink at usa.com. If you're one of my students, you have other email addresses at which to contact me.